Tonight, after a week of ice, down power lines, and freezing temps, homeowners across the region are dealing with damage and whether or not it is covered by their insurance. With Fox 12's Julia Lopez joins us with some tips for those navigating the insurance process right now. Julia? I'm live in Beaverton right now where dozens of homes here have been destroyed, been crushed by the storm. I heard from one homeowner earlier who lives over in Bend who, or excuse me, Boring, who says that she experienced sticker shock when she got a quote for tree removal. I also heard from a local agent on how to avoid those surprises. <laughs> As storm recovery begins across the Portland area, many homeowners will be taking a new look at their insurance policies. The way a good policy is written, typically it covers most sudden and accidental issues. So a bursting pipe, a tree falling on your house. Local insurance agent Ben Weinstein has been busy with clients. He says the process of filing a claim after a disaster can be scary, but there are steps you can take to reduce the stress. First, mitigate any further damage quickly, otherwise your claim could be denied. Turn off your water, turn off the electricity, doing something as long as you can do it safely. Then you can contact your insurance to submit the claim, but he says if damage is minimal, you may consider just paying out of pocket. Will your policy experience a premium change based on making the claim? You have a thousand dollar deductible and you have a thousand dollars and thousand fifty dollars of damage, probably not worth making the claim. Weinstein says the most important thing is customizing your policy ahead of time. He says many people plan ahead of disasters, but many others don't. The last thing you want to do is figure out, oh, this isn't covered, or oh, this is excluded, or oh, oops, you know, we're not covered for enough here. As we get the adjuster finally to call us, we find out that our homeowner's insurance would maybe cover only about $1,000 and the bill was 6000 Sean Perth says when this tree fell through her roof, she figured her insurance would cover everything, from removing the tree with a crane to tarping the roof. But she learned too late her policy had a maximum for tree removal. I am a very strong believer now that get to know your policy <laughs> for future reference. Weinstein says one other thing to keep in mind is make sure you're working with a reputable contractor whose work matches the quality of your home. He highly recommends you get a referral if you can. In Beaverton, Julia Lopez, Fox 12, Oregon. Really?